why we cannot get Biafra without violence Oanese chieftain revealed. Chieftain of Oanese Indigo and woman leader Oanese Indigo in Ugo State chapter Dr. Selina Ugoke Adibwa has called on all those agitating for Biafra and for a separate state to sheet their sword. Adibwa, who said this in an interview, said that it will not be possible to have Biafran independence as it is now impossible. The woman leader posited that instead of spoiling for a separate state or for a fight, the agitators should rather stay and fight within Nigeria as the black Americans did in the United States of America. We will not leave Nigeria. We shall stay and fight for our rights. The black Americans fought inside America. They did not fight for a separate state, she pointed out. The Oanese chieftain and one-time national vice chairman of Oanese Ndigo said that it was those who did not witness the Nigerian Biafran civil war that will be glamouring for Biafra. She recounted how so many Igbos were slaughtered in the north with their limbs cut, throat slit, and some had their bowels burst open. Why some were beheaded and brought home in a train for mass burial and advised that a repeat of a similar horrendous experience should not be replayed. Those who did not see Biafran war are clamoring for a separate state. They did not see so many families who were buried alive to save the North from wasting bullets. We want Biafra, but it is an ideology. Americans and Britons will not help you. They will not. Instead, they will sell guns to you. We do not have the sympathy of the world like we had it in the 60s, she pointed out. After the Civil War, it will not be easy for us to have Biafra. I am not advocating for Biafra, she declared, urging for caution on the touchy issue. On the issue of Igbo presidency, she said it was most desirable that Indigo are allowed to produce the next president for Nigeria for equity sake. She said that what Nigerians did for the Southwest in 1999 that produced a passenger should be done to produce an Igbo president. According to her, the issue of competence is out of the question because Indigo have more than 4,000 people who are qualified for president. She noted that Ndigbo are more Nigerians than any other ethnic group in Nigeria. Nobody can claim to be more Nigerian than the Igbos. With Igbo president, Nigerian will be better because Igbos are considerate. They will not take and take and will not allow others not to take. Thank you for listening to this news. Well, um, our needs a chieftain. Well, you have spoken well anyway, but the truth is that is that even why we are agitating for our rights, even when we decide to fight for our rights here in this country, do you know that to this world will come to an end. Our right will still be denied. Can you please cast your mind back the, um, the dates and when the Biafran War ended? Count it till dates. Have we been able to, to, be, to be given our rights? Have we? Nigeria is not a country that we tolerate Indigo as a leader. 
they will never and will never admit you. That is them for you. That is them for you. They will never tolerate Indigo as a leader. This is 50 something years since Biafran, uh, uh, since um, you know, a Nigerian independence. To date, we have not gained, we have not been given the opportunity to rule. So when will that come? You don't compare us with black Americans and America. Nigeria is a very, um, is a very um, deceitful country with deceitful kind of people. So you cannot compare the whites to Nigeria. The whites are very, very considerate compared to Nigeria. Nigeria human beings are very, very tricky. Most especially the regions. Most especially the Northerners. The Northerners will never allow power to go to the Igbos because they believe on one thing. And what is that? They believe that the not the Northerners will suffer once power gets to the to the to the east. And again, they will be they 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 they, 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 will, they will feel intimidated. It is only the Westerners that is a little bit understanding. But the Western leaders that we have today are all greedy and selfish. I'm actually giving you reasons why Indigo cannot even say they want to break behind and fight for, for their rights. What rights? We have rights of a truth, but there is no need fighting for it. What we, have, we should be fighting for is is to leave this country for good for our own republic which is the best and the best of all nothing can be as sweet as that you understand so life has gone beyond that life has gone beyond that i know that some some egos are not happy are not happy about the decision but what what are we going to do we have no choice see how our people have been denied of 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 their rights see how biafrans have been killed on daily basics can't you see the brutal killing of biafrans in enugu what about anambra what about the 21 biafrans that were killed why having a peace talk and a peace meeting on their own? Even after the 21, after the killing, they still arrested 48 members. One of the Biafrans that was injured, that is in that is hospitalized, is now preparing to face trial. And you are still saying that we should be fighting. What right are we fighting for? Please, 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 please. let's speak something else. If anyone is not ready. To talk to to say the right thing my viewers i want to believe that with this little idea that i've just put up we want to understand the reason why i i was i'm so much against this uh this one nigeria of a thing all right so please don't hesitate to leave your comment below the comment box click on the subscription button as well as the bell button to receive more updates Thank you.